In this video, we will explore the principle of conservation of matter and energy and its incredible role in ecosystems. Imagine you're a magician, but instead of pulling rabbits out of hats, you can only transform one thing into another. You cannot create something out of nothing or make something disappear without a trace. This is very much like the principles of conservation of matter and energy, which state that matter and energy can't be created or destroyed, only transformed or transferred. So, how does this magic work in an ecosystem? Let's look at a plant, our green wizard. Photosynthesis takes matter, like carbon dioxide and water, and changes them into glucose and oxygen. But that's not all. It also transforms sunlight and energy into chemical energy stored in glucose. Now the energy doesn't stop there. It flows through the ecosystem, much like a game of tag. Plants, our producers, are it first. They catch sunlight and convert it into chemical energy. Then along comes an animal, a herbivore, and eats the plant, tag, and the energy is passed. This energy then transfers to a carnivore or omnivore that eats the herbivore. But remember, just like in tag, the game gets slower as it progresses because, at each energy transfer, a chunk of energy is lost as heat. That's why there are usually more herbivores than carnivores, less energy. On the flip side, matter cycles in an ecosystem. Producers, like plants, pull in carbon dioxide from the air and nutrients from the soil. Animals eat plants, gaining this matter for their growth. But what happens when organisms die? That's where decomposers, nature's cleanup crew, come in. Bacteria and fungi break down dead bodies, releasing nutrients into the soil and carbon dioxide into the air. And so, the cycle restarts like an ecological relay race. But here's the tricky part. Energy flow and matter cycling don't happen in a straight line. Instead, it's a complex, interconnected web, a food web, this web shows organisms' multiple dining options and how energy and matter move through the ecosystem. It helps us predict what could happen if we add or remove a species. Think about pulling a knot out of a tangled necklace. That's the impact an extinct species can have on a food web, affecting other species that relied on it for food. So there you have it, the principles of conservation of matter and energy governing the ebb and flow of life in ecosystems. With each photosynthesis, bite taken, and decomposer at work, matter cycles and energy flows, sustaining the beautiful complexity of life on our planet.